Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I'm Ben Barker, the host of Not So Famous. I've just been catching up with some literature. King Henry IV, to be exact. I actually invited King Henry and his son, Prince Hal, to the show tonight. We were involved in a domestic dispute over Prince Hal's alleged rash behavior. Thanks, Ben. We really appreciate you having us here. Yeah, whatever. Well, I'm sure we can figure everything out quite nicely. So, Henry, what seems to be the problem? Well, to put it simply, Hal has been a dirty little runt of a son that gallivants around town making trouble and befriending filth like John Falstaff. Whatever, whatever. I do what I want. Obviously. Okay, so now that we have the problem, we can try and find a solution. I've invited renowned talk show host Dr. Phil to the show tonight to see if he can find an answer. Howdy, y'all. I hear y'all having some issues with Hal here. I call me a black cat shooting craps in a corn crib, but I think what we need here is some love. That's right, L-O-V-E. That's all you need. Just cook yourself up a big cup of love, and that's all you need. You'll be happier than a kitten in a warm woolen mitten. Go to hell, you fake. Yeehaw! Hallelujah! How about that, son? Phony. Why, you're little. Well, I guess it helped a little. Don't you have anything else for us? Sure we do. We invited comedian Ellen DeGeneres onto the show tonight. But first, let's go to Dick Clark for our weather update. Dick? Thanks again. Why, hey there, kiddo. Hey. So I understand that you and your father are in a bit of a kerfuffle. Yes. He doesn't understand my need to rebel. Like a silver dollar shining in the sun. It will be my time. But for now, I'll live like the scum in London. You must shine now. Or Hotspur will be the heir to the throne. So, I guess what I don't really understand here is uh, what I'm supposed to do about it. Because my show basically consists of me randomly dancing and giving away free prizes. And by the way, today's audience will all receive a free copy of my new book, Rainbow Dreams, A Lesbian Struggle to Live in a Straight Society. Oh! Thanks, Ellen. You've been a real help. Thanks a lot. But, thanks again, Ellen. Okay then, so let's take a break from this family feud for the moment and introduce our last guest star of the night. He's not your average man. Born in Cleveland, Ohio, this small-town Latin teacher has quickly risen to the position of fashion extraordinaire. His daring new styles have kept fashion designers from New York to L.A. scurrying to keep up. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Gabriel S. Bacall. It's actually G. Steven. Okay then, G. Steven. What do you have to say about your new influence as a fashion legend? What has been your greatest achievement? Providing the world with such styles as the corduroy pants, the ascot, or perhaps the retro earth tone complete with green crocs. Well, I have to say, Ben, that growing up in a private school sheltered me from the styles and fads of the day. When the time came to pick out my own clothes, I was a natural. Decidedly. Well, here's a look at some of G. Stevens' other designs.
Yes, those were some of my greatest works. I'm currently developing a new TV series called, uh, Gabe. The Life, the Latin, and the Legend. I'm also working on a new record label with, uh, my counterpart Joe Bersini. He can split an apple with his bare hands. Thanks, Jew Steven. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that man clearly had issues at home. But nonetheless, has blossomed into a fashion icon for all to see. Dad, I take it back. Everything. I don't want to be like him. Well, it seems our friend from Ohio has scared Hal into leading a normal life. Thanks, Gabe. You've done the trick. Come here, son. Well, that's it for tonight, folks. And it just goes to show you, sometimes all you need is a little taste of the horrors in the world to bring you back together. That's all for today. See you next time on Not So Famous. When you're a fool in love And nothing goes the way you plan And no one cares and no one understands That you're a fool and you're in love Never